Welcome to the Old Time Radio Netcast Network. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Shadow. Original air date is September 4th, 1939, and the title is Death Under the Chapel. Let's get married. I've gathered 
the most remarkable young minds in this country yes. around me. And what have you taught them? Things beyond your comprehension. I can believe that. You taught them that the world is vile, a hopeless smut, that mankind should be destroyed. I taught them to think things through. Even when they lead to despair and suicide. Suicide like young Robert Smith. Professor Quilliam, you killed young Spence with your poisonous ideas as surely as if you'd put a pistol to his head and blown his brains out. Don't be childish, Winwood. You know your rival university has been after me. It would serve you right if I went over to them. Do you think they'll want you when I publish young Spence's suicide note? But He names you as the man who drove him to it. You wouldn't dare publish it. I am going. And uh, don't bother to write out a resignation. You're discharged from the faculty. Dishonorably discharged. Good day. When would you dare? Oh, you fool, you stupid fool. You imagine I won't have my revenge for this? But I haven't plotted it already? Come in, Black. Come in. Hurry. Bring Antone. I must get to work. Is it really true? Winwood has, has discharged you? Yes. yes, but he can't. It's outrageous. It's impossible. Yeah, that's right, Bragg. Absolute belief in me is what I need right now. You and I will show these academic fools that they can't insult Philip Kalima. Wonderful, but, but how will you do it? I've been carrying out certain experiments. Now we will find the use for my research and put it into practical chemistry. Oh, I don't understand. I mean well, to make a change, a slight change in the graduation exercises in the chapel tomorrow. As a warning to those who insult me. Well, what are you going to do, Professor? Plant a bomb in the basement. Time to explode as President Winwood is giving out his precious degrees. Oh, a hundred of people. But you can't. That, that's murder. What of it? It's going to be done. And you will help me. No, no, I won't. I, I can't. What, brother? Let me out of here. Anton. Anton, stand away from the door. No chance, Brad. Anton cannot hear. And he knows I don't want you to get away. He has braced himself against the door. You'll stay and help me with my plan. You can't get away. I can't. I must. Even if I have to jump out this window. Brad, Brad. You can't stop me. Man. I've gone through the window. I must signal Anton along this wall. Chase Bragg and bring him back. And so understand, as he always does. He'll bring him back, and when he does, I can put my scheme of revenge into operation. Why did your servant leave you this way? He's carrying out an order for me. 
Richmond's and exercises. He has the bomb already. You must stop it. Don't worry, I shall. But we're locked up here. How can you... Hush, hush. Who are you talking to? Who's in this room, boy? I... The truth? Or do you want them to force it out of you? No, no. Well, uh, well there, there was a man here, but... But you can't see him. And you can't see him. Yes. It's just a voice. Have you gone mad? I don't know. I... What? That was a voice? Are you here, boy? Answer me. Answer me, boy. Oh, you fool. <laughs> well, we shall lock you and your crazy idea up together. Come and talk to us. Oh, Professor, Professor, don't leave me here. Please, please, I can't stand it. Oh, leave me here, oh, boy. Oh, 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 please, 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 please. When I have finished my little task in my laboratory. If there was anyone in that room with Brad, he could see him. Yeah. Is that so, Professor? When you and Anton reach your laboratory, the shadow will be there with you. I expected you would 
Godfrey Shadow. That is why I locked the door. Meaning? Simply that I have the key, my friend. And you shall never leave this room beneath the chapel. Nonsense, Professor. I know you too well to worry about that. Your life is very precious to you. You have no intention of losing it in this explosion. There is no necessity, Shadow. I shall be far away when those fools upstairs are smashed into eternity. When you leave, I shall simply shut off the bomb. You are mistaken there, Shadow. When I leave, you will be dead. I am going to tell Anton to kill you. The silly friend. How can your servant kill what he cannot see? I have thought of that. And when I throw this light switch, so... <laughs> the room is dark, Mr. Shadow. Can Anton see any better in the darkness than I can? He does not have to see better, Shadow. But Anton will be able to see as well as you. You will not see him and your being invisible will not help you. Your trick will not frighten Anton now. No. No, Shadow. Anton will find you. And with his strength, he will break you like a snap stick. Don't be so sure, Kalima. Uh, I have planned it well, Shadow. The door is locked. You cannot escape. The room is tiny. Anton is bound to catch you. Others have tried to trap the shadow. But I have done it. You hear me tapping on Anton's hand? I'm telling him there is a man here in the darkness ordering him to search for you, Shadow. To put me down and kill my enemy. Anton is very angry with you, Shadow. You hear, Shadow? I hear. I've been very clever, Shadow. Anton has placed me in the middle of the room so that I shan't get in the way of his groping for you. There. He started his search. He's coming toward you, Shadow. Do you think so, Kulima? Thank you for speaking, Shadow. I have pushed Anton toward the sound of your voice. <laughs> you hear him coming toward you, Shadow? Anton will find you, and then you will die. If that bomb goes off, we will all be killed. There is plenty of time. You will not talk long with Anton's fingers around your throat. Your man is rather slow, Kulima. Slow, Shadow, but sure. Nothing can save you. Nothing? Ah, there. He has reached the wall. Now, Shadow, he will hurt you back into your corner. It is not over yet. Are you prepared to die, Shadow? This Shadow. Moving along the wall. And now, Professor, it's the Shadow's turn to play. Play? You're helpless. Not quite, Quilima. Here is a trick I learned from you. Listen, Professor, do you recognize this? Yes, Professor. Anton is touching the wall and he can feel the vibrations. I tap out instructions like you do. I'm talking to him now. No, Anton, don't listen to that. It's not your master. Anton can't hear you, Kalima. Remember, he's a deaf mute. But he will pay attention to my signal, especially when I tell him that he's in a room with a time bomb. Anton! Oh, if I could only reach the wall. You're in the middle of the room, Kalima, and you're helpless. You can't move unless someone carries you. It's dark. And Anton can't see you either. I, 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 I can crawl. I must reach the wall. Too late, Kalima. Anton is afraid. Anton, let go the back. It's a trick. He can't hear you, Kalima. He slammed the door down. He's gone, Professor. Oh, go on. Anton's left me. I am helpless. Yes, Professor. Helpless. Now I'll take this bomb away. Stop. Give me that bomb. No, Professor. I have it. Let you. You snatched it out of my hand. Yes, Professor. Now just shut off the mechanism. There, thank heaven, Kulima, your plan has failed. You won, Shadow. But I have one trick left, young Spencer's trick. This little pill... Kulima, don't! It's too late, Shadow. I swallowed the pill. Death is almost instantaneous. I only wish I... Poison. Poison, I can smell it. The most deadly poison, no. No. Professor Kulima has killed himself. A brilliant mind. Too brilliant. His dreams of power... Revenge upon those who swore them unbalanced and drove into crime. No matter what the cause, crime is a boomerang that returns to punish the guilty ones who set it in motion. Ha, 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 ha.
and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely... Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this presentation from the Old Time Netcast Network. For more great shows, go to otnetcast.com. Don't forget to like and rate this episode in your favorite podcatching client. Follow this show on Facebook by going to otnetcast.com forward slash Facebook. This episode is covered under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otnetcast.com forward slash copyright. Thanks again for listening, and I hope you have a great day.